Here's how you can view the scheduled tasks already set up on a Windows server. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Windows Server 2016 platform. Let's begin. In the lower left hand corner, you're going to see a magnifying glass, and you're going to click on that and type in CMD, Charlie Michael David. Enter. The command is SCHTAS, spelled S C H T A S K S. So that we're going to type that in right now. Sam, Charlie, Hippo, Tango, Alpha, Sam, Kite, Sam. Press enter. You'll get a wealth of information. So I'm going to expand my display. On this machine, for example, there is a scheduled task called installation in the live uh, folder, Windows, Microsoft Windows Live, and it runs every day. There's a task called pre-stage app cleanup that runs as disabled, as you can see right here. There's another task called from the .NET Framework 4.0.30319 in the non-64-bit implementation that is ready to be run, but is not scheduled to run. <clears throat> so we have three free information here. Number one, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to look at the name of the task here. Is it in ready status? If it's disabled status, that means it's there, but it doesn't run. If it's ready, then the next runtime. For example, one that's called app URIV verify, app UR. I verify daily, verifier daily is scheduled to is in ready status and it's scheduled to run next. If you look at the, the clock here, the next day at three in the morning, as opposed to one called data integrity scan that's in ready that's scheduled to next run a week from now at 4 45 p.m. This will give you all the scheduled tasks set up in your machine, if they're in ready or disabled status, and if they're ready, the next runtime that they're scheduled to run for, if they're actively running. And that's how you display all the scheduled tasks on your Windows server.